What is the maximum speed at which a person can travel in space? Theoretically, slightly slower than the speed of light. But to achieve such results, you need special aircraft. Devices that can quickly accelerate to an incredible level of performance and not fall apart. Well, we haven't reached the speed of light yet. But we've already built many things that are incredibly fast. And while scientists are working on the invention of the warp drive to reach distant planets, let's look at the scientific achievements that we already have. If we're talking about one of the fastest rockets ever built by humans, it's Saturn V, an American super heavy launch vehicle, which was used for a manned landing on the moon. The rocket consisted of three stages, each of which ran on liquid fuel. The higher it went, the faster it traveled. The maximum speed achieved by the third stage of Saturn V was 40,233 kilometers per hour, or 25,000 miles per hour. This is an absolute record among devices of this class. Only 1 26,000th the speed of light, and of course, almost 33 times the speed of sound. I'll put the infamous space shuttle in second place. When you hear this aircraft mentioned, you most likely immediately recall the Space Shuttle Columbia disaster that occurred in the year 2003. Then, when it re-entered Earth's atmosphere, the shuttle caught fire and broke apart. All seven crew members were killed. But before these terrible events took place, the Space Shuttle had served for more than 22 years and could reach impressive speeds. According to open sources, the shuttle accelerated to 28,000 kilometers per hour. That's up to more than 17,000 miles per hour. I rightfully give the third place to Hypersonic Technology Vehicle 2, or HTV-2 for short. It was planned that with the help of data on the aerodynamics of this aircraft, it would be possible to create a special strike aircraft, a plane that could reach any destination in the world in just one hour, and no traffic jams. This hypersonic glider was more than 17 times faster than the speed of sound and could accelerate up to 21,000 kilometers per hour. That's up to 13,000 miles per hour. Unfortunately, despite the impressive performance, both HTV-2 experimental flights ended in a crash. During the second flight test, the surface of the device basically heated to 1,930 degrees Celsius. That's 3,500 degrees Fahrenheit. For comparison, the surface temperature of Venus is approximately 460 degrees Celsius, or 860 Fahrenheit. Not surprisingly, the device did not survive the flight. The X-43 was a little more fortunate. This unmanned hypersonic aircraft developed by NASA went through three experimental flights. However, for this purpose, engineers had to make three models. But the main thing is that the X-43 was accelerated to an unthinkable 11,850 kilometers per hour. That's 7,360 miles per hour. This was the end of that test, but only to give way to another prototype. The Boeing X-51 replaced the X-43, and immediately it had quite a strange appearance. Basically, this is a cruise missile without wings. It's designed to travel at an altitude of about 21,000 meters, or 69,000 feet, at hypersonic speeds. The X-51 was supposed to reach the mark of 7,500 kilometers per hour. That's 4,600 miles per hour. This would have made it the world's speed record holder among its own kind. So far, only ballistic missiles fly faster than that. 
However, during the tests, it turned out to accelerate up to only 5,400 kilometers per hour. That's 3,400 miles per hour. But that isn't such a bad result. The experimental rocket-powered aircraft X-15 reached a slightly lower speed. It set speed and altitude records in the 1960s, reaching the edge of outer space. The official X-15 world record for maximum speed among manned aircraft was registered in October 1967. 7,274 kilometers per hour. That's 4,520 miles per hour. And that at an altitude of about 30,000 meters or 100,000 feet. And all of this for the study of flight at hypersonic speeds. The information that was collected with the X-15 was used to create the X-20 dinosaur. This was planned as a manned suborbital hypersonic bomber. Unfortunately, despite costing $660 million, the bomber never saw the light of day. But humanity still managed to reach hypersonic speeds in flight regardless. Compared to the rest of the missiles and aircraft I've mentioned, the Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird may seem extremely slow. But this isn't just an aircraft. The Blackbird is a strategic reconnaissance aircraft that was in service with the United States Air Force. It moved at a high altitude, just under 26,000 meters or 85,000 feet, to stay out of reach of any potential threats. If an enemy launched a surface-to-air missile, the Blackbird would simply accelerate and escape the collision. To achieve this effect, the plane was able to reach a speed of up to 3,500 kilometers per hour, or almost 2,200 miles per hour. For comparison, a normal civilian Boeing 737 can reach speeds of about 8 or 900 kilometers per hour. That's about 5 to 560 miles per hour. That's four times slower. As of 2020, the Blackbird continues to hold the world record set in 1976. It's recognized as the fastest manned aircraft with an air jet engine. In general, this title is well deserved. Unfortunately, the Blackbird was officially retired in the year 1999. But it is still considered one of the fastest inventions of mankind. Perhaps in a few years, all of the aircraft that I've mentioned in today's video will be hopelessly outdated. Modern science is developing at an incredible pace, and with it, humanity is really accelerating. We don't know what the future holds, but I keep an eye on it. So, in order not to miss all of the most interesting things from the world of science, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell. Until next time.